All right. So today we're going to install automatic 1111 stable diffusion. And we're going to install this on Windows. Um, previously, we installed this on our Unraid box because I replaced my video card. Um, since I have the 4070 GeForce in my current machine, we're just going to install Stable Fusion locally for we can get better results and do more with it. So if we scroll down here, the first thing we're going to notice is that we have to install Python 3.10. Point six, and it says add Python to path. Well, currently I only have um, Python 12, um, so I have to also install Python 10 on my machine to get this to work. So let's go ahead and install Python 10. All right, so what we want to do is we want to go over and install Python, and we want to find 3.10.6. And to do that, we go to the python.org. We'll go over here to download. But if we notice in the download, it's 3.12.3. Right now, that's not compatible with Torch. So we'll have to go down here to go to Windows. And then we'll find the 3.10.6. And if you go down here and notice, um, we go from 3.10, 3.9, 3.8, and 3.11. So none of these are really in um, order. So the easiest thing that I find to do, just hit Control F, and then we'll type in 3.10.6 in the search bar, and we'll just jump straight down to it. And then we'll just go down here and hit the window installer. And then once it's installed, or downloaded I should say, we'll just go to the download section and we'll um, go ahead and stop the install. So here it is in the download, and I can just open up the file from here, or you can navigate to your download folder and grab it. But we'll just hit the open file, and then what we want to do is, I typically don't like to install things on path, but considering that this script is going to work for the first time on path, we'll go ahead and add it. Me and myself, I'll probably remove it later, but for now, we'll just add it to path. And then we'll go ahead and hit install now. And then just stop, stop the install process. And we'll wait till it's finished. So here we are. The setup was successful. We'll just head ahead and close. And then we'll just go back here. And it says the next thing is install Git. Um, I already have Git installed. All right. So the next thing that we're going to end up doing is we'll get this Git clone right here. And I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to my Windows Explorer, and I'm going to put stuff in my Python projects. So I want to do here. So a shortcut to get to my command line, I just go up here, and I'll just type in CMD. And that will just pop into my command line right here. And then I just put the git clone in there, and then we'll just start the um, cloning process. And pretty quick. So once that's done, we're going to have to go get some models for our project. All right, so to get our model, we're going to go over to Hugging Face. And we'll go over here, hit Models, and then we want text to image under Computer Vision. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to type in Stable. And I guess I'll get this um, Stable Vert. Diffusion 2.1 or 2-1. Click on that, go to Files and Versions, and we're going to go down here and we are going to grab the checkpoint right here. We'll click on that and we'll go ahead and hit Download. And then once that's downloaded, we will throw that into our proper folder. All right, so now that we have that downloaded, we can come over here, and I'm just going to open up the file in my download directory. And I'm going to go ahead and um, cut this, and I'm going to copy it over to the proper folder. So what we end up wanting to do is go to wherever you install Stable Diffusion, double-click it, and then go down there and look for Models. Then once we're in those uh, models, um, we see Stable Diffusion here. 
and it's nice that the text file that says hey you know put your checkpoints here so well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to paste that checkpoint and then once that checkpoint is done then we can go back over here to our command line and then we can uh, work on that alright so what we'll end up doing is we'll go back over to our github and it says the next thing to do is just run this web UI user bat so I'm just going to copy that go back over here to the command line and then I'm going to go into my stable diffusion folder and I'm going to run that and then it's going to create the um, virtual environment and go through the setup process so we'll just wait here till everything's set up all right so we got everything set up now um, it popped up the stable diffusion local host on my website all right so once you have stable diffusion installed um, you select your model up here if you have more than one model you'll be able to select more than one since you only threw one model in there or one checkpoint I should say um, we only have one checkpoint to select from so going down here since we're a little bit better graphic card now we can set there and bump this up to 768 and since we did our last test on a Craddy Cat let's do our um, Let's do a cartoon Craddy Cat again and see what we get. So we'll go ahead and generate this and then we see that we're getting an error. So the error says a tensor with all NANDs was producing UNET. Try setting the cross attention layout to float 32 or using the no half command argument to fix this. Um, well, let's do that. So to end up doing that, what we're going to have to do is we'll have to go to that folder. So ours is down in um, the D drive, and we'll go down to Python projects again. We'll go to Stable Diffusion, and down here we have that web UI user bat. We'll just right-click that. We'll hit Edit, and then... Um, we go down to I'm sorry we want to go to this web UI dot bat and then we'll go ahead and hit edit and then down here if we go down here to about line 12 we'll see this set error reporting goes false right on underneath that line we want to set the command arguments to no half and disable NAND checks so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and save this and then once that's saved we'll just exit out and then we can set there and run this again. So let me close this out, go back to my line, and then just kind of hit Control C to get out of here. And then hit yes. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run the um, user bat again. And when I do that, it's going to have that no half disabled man check. And when we come up here, um, again the model so we're going to do the um, 768 for the width and height on this and then we're going to try the cartoon karate cat again and then we're going to generate it but this time we notice that it's working so that's all we have to do so if you get that error um, you can get that and here we are with my little karate cat um, up there and you know that's pretty much it so let's try something different right let's pick on Mike Tyson right so we'll go with Mike Tyson in a pretty pink dress and then we'll see what he looks like there so let's give that a try and then you know we're gonna let's do five images on that and then we'll go ahead and generate this and then kind of see what what it comes up to and, and this will take you know a little bit longer because we're using five images so we see that Tyson started off with this little pink thing right there not exactly a pretty pink dress uh, <clears throat> so that's the first image 
So let's see what we're going to come up with that second image. So this is a little bit better. He's in that pink dress, like with these big, you know, guns. Um, so hopefully he doesn't get too mad at me and come find me. And then here we are, like he's doing the little Marilyn Monroe thing right here in his little pretty pink dress. Um, so it is kind of funny that we can sit there and um, do this. And again, this is just done to humorous. I'm talking about I'm not trying to make fun of the man by no means. Um, so here it is in a little pink little um, skirt. So we can get like really creative with this. And this is kind of like the bottom, you know, line. This one right here is just a pink jacket. Not quite what we was looking for. But after these are done and processed, then we can go over here and let like blow this up. And we see this right up here. Like I said, Mike Tyson, little dress, little Marilyn Monroe look, him and a little bit of um skirt right there. So you know, overall, um, you know, just fun to play with. And um and again, I'm talking about um hopefully Mike doesn't get too mad at me. But anyway, I'd love to hear what kind of models that um, you are trying to install, like on yours. So if you have a better um, model that we should try out, um, let me know. And also, um, just let me know what kind of images you guys are producing. All right, thanks.